Why you bother, Venom? What's wrong, Daddy? I know what's wrong with that crazy motherfucker. You just stand by the goddamn window with that fucking AK all day. You don't work, you don't fuck, you don't, you don't do the goddamn thing. I see death around the corner with a survivor. Will I die? Ain't no pity for the kid if you try. School of Performing Arts was forging a career not only in music, but in movies. His debut came in Curtis Nickerson's film, last year's Poetic Justice, who starred opposite Janet Jackson. But the son of a former Black Panther Party member has found himself on the police blotter almost as often as in the entertainment news. Shakur had five arrests in 1993 alone, including one on aggravated assault charges stemming from an Atlanta shootout with off-duty police officers. That case was dismissed. He was convicted earlier this year in Los Angeles of battery and carrying a concealed weapon. He became a target of then-Vice President Dan Quayle's Family Values campaign after the killer of a Texas state trooper claimed the music on Shakur's album, Apocalypse Now, made him do it. 
when Cooper's widow is uniform. suing Shakur for negligence. In November of 1993, Shakur and two other men were charged with sodomy and sex abuse, as well as weapons charges, after a teenage fan accused Shakur of luring her to his New York hotel room and forcing her to perform oral sex on his friends. Tupac Shakur, the words thug life tattooed on his abdomen, seems bent on bolstering his gangster rap credentials by living the life as well as rapping about it. Mark Shearer of CNN Entertainment News, New York. And after he opened fire, bullets struck Shakur in the head, groin, and hand. Shakur's manager also suffered injuries. Shakur is more famous for his run-ins with the law than his music.